She was a kind person that helped people. She didn't deserve to go the way she did. People who live in this North Phoenix neighborhood are in shock after their neighbor, 86-year-old Elizabeth Bell, died in her house after 59-year-old Wayne Tweed allegedly lit it on fire last Thursday. They remember her screams for help. Como de desesperación. It was desperation, but we did not know where the screaming was coming from. We didn't know until later. According to court paperwork, Bell was bedridden and her caregiver, who was with her in the house, told detectives he couldn't get her out with all the flames. He said Tweed was Bell's former caregiver and was served a restraining order two days before the fire after Tweed had grown increasing erratic, fighting with his girlfriend on the property and starting large bonfires in the backyard. Neighbors tell us Tweed had been living in a trailer on Bell's property. Police would go to the house often. The caregiver told investigators Tweed kept showing up to the house the day of the fire, but responding officers couldn't find him. Tweed was arrested the next day at a home that's walking distance from the scene. We talked with a man who says he lives at the house Tweed was arrested and is his friend. He's a good guy. He didn't do what they're saying he did. You know it for a fact. However, court paperwork says security cameras show a man wearing a cowboy hat on the property right before the house went up in flames. And the caregiver, neighbors, and Tweed's girlfriend say that's Tweed. There's less fear knowing he is no longer on the loose. Court documents show Tweed denied starting the fire when being interviewed by detectives. And when they showed him the evidence, he pled the fifth. Reporting live in the newsroom, Casey Torres, Arizona's Family.